Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Derail Valley Overhauled. Thank you for the amazing feedback on the first episode. Looks like you guys had as much fun in it as I did. So here we are with episode 2. And um, I might have been doing a few jobs in the background, a few jobs offline because we we rich. <laughs> 96k now and actually i think we can even get the license for the steam train i'm still scared to drive it i have no idea how to but we'll learn it together but first and foremost i think we do a simple job to start with the basics with our good old trusty shunter we have lots of shunters in here i'm just uh, servicing this one because i just came from a long trip and uh, the fuel is actually yeah less than half the diesel so let's go ahead and uh, refill that i think the last job i earned like 40 000, 20 plus thousand from the base and then around ten thousand for the ten thousand plus for the the uh how do you call it the time bonus that's a huge thing in this game why is this not not updating still a bit finicky with this one i guess this is more in tune for the vr so we can do that. We can refill the oil as well. And you can clearly see what deficiencies there are based on this uh, diagram. So that's like, what, 80-90% full? The wheels in condition. So let's fully repair that. And doing it this way will save you a lot of money repairing stuff yourself in service stations as to just automating that uh, servicing so you can save half the servicing costs. 5,000 spare change for us? <laughs> Not really. Okay, that's good. All right, so I am going to take a job. I think I'd like this one. I haven't taken it yet officially because there you can see the time bonus says 37 minutes if I go through there. And I think as soon as you accept the job, the timer starts. So I'd want to position my train first and everything before we accept it so that we can really save a lot of time. I think that's how it works, but if you know otherwise, let me know, okay? Let's turn everything on. Everything looks good. Release the brakes. The reverser is in forward direction. Apply some throttle in here, and this is the turntable. I, by the way, I figured out how to push the turntable up on your own you just basically walk up to it and you see that like lever there you walk up against that whichever direction you want it to turn it and it will turn just push against it basically All right so what I do normally is I try to find the set of oh, and you so that the viewers won't get mad this, these are not trailers, these are cars, rail cars to be exact, but I'll call them cars or wagons, I guess either of those is acceptable depending on where you live. So I'll try my best not to call them trailers because I got some uh, angry comments about that. They're not trailers. Sorry about that. But coming from a trucking background, I tend to call these trailers. Okay, so cars and wagons. So I try to look for the, the cars on my own try to match them up with the description because if you're not accepting the job yet then you don't get the actual like registration numbers of the cars but you do get an idea of what they are and what they look like so here you see this job is concerned with uh, two four six seven seven cars in total two green two red two yellow and one like uh, they call that cyan or something and uh, so I go around the place, look around for all the different uh, cars and find the matching one. I've been doing that offline and I think I found it. So if I try to remember where that is, I hope I do. We'll make our way there, attach, accept the job, go back and start it off so that we save a bit of time. <clears throat> yeah, this is... this harbor is simply the easily the biggest city they have in the map at the moment and it just connects to all other industries which is making a lot of sense and i've only recently realized what 
the different dots mean like in this glo global map the different color dots i'll go through that later but for now let me focus okay 30 speed limit yes we turn left here that looks good speed limit here is actually 50 kilometers okay we can speed up a little same with you guys i'm absolutely loving the the sounds here slow down to 30. right so we turn left we turn right and that's the one the g30 seems to be the matching one right so let's go ahead and uh, park it up just bit by bit make sure not to crash too hard into it i think the save speed is around i don't know less than 10 kilometers per hour five ideally that was definitely harder than i hoped i hope i didn't damage anything let's double check 100 percent vegan cargo okay good everything is still good all right uh, let's close this up because every second you take every move you in nah, every second you take with the engine on is going to consume diesel and you'll have to pay for that eventually so let's go and couple this if you didn't see the first episode this is so cool you actually couple this yourself tighten that out connect the hoses for the brakes and open the valves on both ends hear the sound there now i think let me see so if i go and check out the job overview that's the cyan one you have two yellow i'm starting from the right side of the description that's the cyan one you're right and next to that is two yellow two red two green two yellow two red two green that seems to match and even though we don't have exactly the description yet, I would bet that this is the one. So let's go ahead, go back to the station and uh, feed this into the job validator. And let's see what kind of job we would need to do. All right. So it does say G3. Oh, perfect. Golf 3 Oscar. Exactly where we are right now and exactly where we coupled with. So we take that to the goods factory in town and we worry about that bit by bit. All right, so start the fuse, turn on the engine, turn on the fan, cab lights, headlights, honk the horn, and off we go. Brake pipe pressure is increasing. And off we go off the different direction reverser there you go now this is a bit of a heavy train i think it's around 300 oh yeah 317 tons that's stretching it a bit with this shunter and traveling on long distances it's not really the ideal spot okay all the trailers oh all the cars <laughs> are attached <laughs> okay looks good speed it up world map so let's see we should be going to the goods factory in town which is all the way so we're here right now that's where we need to go all right okay that's fine and then so we can probably go through this way uh, that's not the one we should be going this way here around that point because this is not actually a junction that's you can see the icon there it's like a, an overpass so if you are coming from here you cannot turn right to the goods factory i learned that the hard way <laughs> all right looks good let's keep it 30. now there are a couple of different factors here that play in one important thing is to always watch for the engine temperature the more we max out our throttle, the faster that engine temperature rises. And the heavier you are hauling, the more prone it is to overheating. So we have to be very mindful of that. And so this 
entire dance is the matter of mixing in the uh, how do you say balancing the, the power you put in versus balancing the cooldown time and uh, depending on what route we have ahead like for sure if it's an uphill then you want to put in as much power as you need so make sure to have enough leeway for the engine that has to be cold uh, cold enough for you to handle that entire climb and once you start with the the downhill area then you can let go of the throttle just coast along let the engine cool down stuff like that yeah but it's pretty cool all right station map we are going to exit to the west we are somewhere over here now in this junction so we go and look for the right one that's the one yes Actually, I think that's this one, this junction we just passed. So we should be right on the border of the harbor now. That's good. Now, with the map, with the world map, an option is to, you can actually drop it there. And you can refer to it. I'm not so sure I like it. It does free up my inventory so I can like, pick the comms radio. Here the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour and I, I, I love that there is that feature now because I remember before when I first started playing this game there was no speed limit so it was up to you and now they put those in and they increase the capability the, the tolerance for the speed so you don't have to derail you don't derail so easily anymore you can go faster not that this train can go any faster especially in uphill to really push it but yeah I, I love this entire balancing your speed making sure you don't just accelerate at that point where you really have to slow down a few meters ahead anyway yeah and, and that happens sometimes when you plop down the map so not so much of a fan it slides down sometimes I just want to take it with me and hide it like that so let me know which you guys prefer but I think I'll do this for now. So we have to turn right later on. Okay, speed limit is at 70 now. And here in this game, you really want to follow the speed limits because they're not just for regulation purposes. You really will derail. As the name implies, derail valley. It is a real possibility if you don't follow the speed limits there is a bit of like margin of error there like five to ten kilometers ahead but if you don't follow that your train will derail you'll lose the job you'll lose the trailers yeah it's going to be a disaster i hope that doesn't end up for us though for some reason the headlights seem to turn off randomly i don't know why if i'm doing something maybe i'm clicking something go and get back to neutral here is neutral the right term maybe not what's the right term i know trucking terms only that looks like it's an uphill based on that sign so it looks like we'll need to put in some power and that is evident because you see the speed starting to fall here some because sometimes in this view it's kind of hard to see if it's uphill or downhill in some cases when it's really drastic change in levels it's easy to determine but uh, oftentimes i refer to those signs there yeah it looks like we really have to push it but if you apply a thrust too hard you see you hear you see that light come up wheel slip means you are applying too much power and your your wheels don't get traction anymore so in those cases you put in sand you enable sand here to increase the traction between the rails and the, the wheels let's try that there you go you hear that as well so you put in the sand that increases the traction and you can see no more wheel slip but your sand does run out after some time and you have to maintain that let's let go of that 
and coast here because the speed limit has just dropped to 40 and so it's very important to continue anticipating looking at the signs and also looking at the map here to see if that is a sharp turn then expect a slowdown to happen you know things like that and now we can start accelerating again but the graphics of this game is beautiful they've optimized it a lot there's still a few stutters when the a new area loads and stuff like that some low textured mountains but it's turning out very very nicely I mean with so much to do inside here in the train you don't even have that much time to go sightseeing anymore which is sometimes such a shame also you might notice we have a quite a long train here uh, quite a few number of cars here because I actually got the uh, offline you can look at the job here license requirement is long rank 1 I bought that already, that's only 10,000 bucks. And uh, I saved up a little, took that upgrade so that I can take the better jobs, better paying jobs. Five there, okay. I think we can speed up here a little. I do want to make it in time for the bonus, 37 minutes, but not so sure. We'll see, we'll see. Let's leave the map here so we have one less thing to carry. Let's just zoom into it when needed. Is that sharp? Not really. Not really that sharp. But yeah, I've gotten a couple of comments from you guys saying that you really enjoyed it the game and that some of you are even playing it yourself and that some of you are even playing this in VR and it's so amazing that's cool guys unfortunately I don't have a VR headset and I'm not planning on getting one anytime soon it's a bit on the pricey side Let's slow down here a bit let the engine breathe a little and cool down yeah exactly because I had a feeling we were we were going to need to slow down anyway so that's the balance right you can't just always accelerate full st full speed ahead because your engine will overheat and you'll have to unnecessarily brake so oftentimes you want momentum to take care of things slow down naturally and stuff like that save up on fuel you know it's this entire dance of uh, mixing your throttle I, am i even saying that right is this the throttle there should be a name there uh thrust is that a, an aviation term uh, you get what i mean and then the different brakes but yeah you'll have to pardon me i'm not very familiar with trains but i am starting to learn them thanks to this game it's so cool comms radio there is a fork up ahead it looks like it's going to be an uphill battle yet again and looks like the speed limit we are going to the right supposedly is 40 okay that's fine yep and that's the wrong switch let's switch it up Got to go to the right side perfect all right we do have a bit of leeway here we're only at 25 kilometers per hour so should be safe to speed up probably be staying at this speed for quite some time I see a lot of sharp bends up ahead if you peek out don't ask me how you can peek out through the glass but it's cool that the sounds change it's very useful for checking your load if you're still carrying your load behind you or if you left it behind for some reason already <laughs> start hearing some kind of wheel slip that's indicating that you are getting close to the safe limits and if that continues if that strengthens then that can mean you are at risk of getting derailed oh one sec i want to take a shot of this this is how i take screenshots here just teleport up ahead and 
try to take a photo. I showed you before the free cam mode, but I didn't really like this one. How do you guys take photos in this game? Let me know if you have any tips. I wish there was a pause function, just so you could take photos more properly. Fairly flat, fairly straight, bit up ahead. Oh crap, I, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh man, didn't I just tell you guys that one doesn't really go and turn to the right in the goods factory? Well, uh, say goodbye to our time bonus because it looks like we'll have to turn around all the way. So we'll have to pass Goods Factory. Well, we can reverse, but yeah, let's just, let's just plow on. So we'll have to go past Goods Factory, turn left, loop all around there. Oh yeah, crap. I missed my turn. But still, it will be a scenic tour. We have to take the scenic route. And uh, you could, one could argue, I did that on purpose so I could show you guys around better. Because <laughs> I don't need the money. Actually, I do because the diesel train license is like 200k. And we have fees and upon fees mounting up. Oh, I can see the engine starting to heat up here. Let it breathe for a moment. I love the sound the train makes as we pass through the rails. So nice, isn't it? Are we losing speed? Maybe we can apply a little bit of throttle in here. Ah, oh, crap, that doesn't even go left. I think. So it looks like we'll have to go straight and reverse. Oh, crap, no, this is going to be bad, guys. This is going to be bad. So that means we'll have to travel the reverse direction from here. Yikes. That's going to be pretty disastrous, I think. Well, we can hope. We can hope. Yikes. It's a critical error from my end. So say goodbye to the time bonus, but as long as we make it safely in one piece, I'll take it. these bridges here. Well, at least we'll get more opportunities for taking photos, right? Yes. Let me go out of the train and take another photo here. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> Especially the bent. The uh, bent bridges. Those uh, bends. Beautiful. Yeah, this one. So, unfortunately, there is no left turn so we'll have to go straight and oh that's a texture error hopefully that gets fixed so we'll have to break here let's look at the back break oh that's too far away There you go. And then we switch this one. Recipe for disaster. Not the way you supposedly drive your trains, but it does contribute to a very nice scenic shot like there. I can take that. All right, focus. Reverser. Let go of the brakes. 
see the brake pipe pressure increasing again that means the brakes are getting released and we apply a little bit of thrust there now if i remember correctly a lot of these should be downhill so hopefully we save up a bit of fuel there that is if I remembered correctly because I went through here the last job okay looking good there but yeah the problem here is I don't even know how to anticipate the speed limits like I can't see stuff from here by the time I see a speed limit, my car behind would have gone through it already. Oh my goodness, that's a recipe for disaster. Maybe we shouldn't just sh just shouldn't push this. So I'll have to like go here and check out the speeds. This is scary. Why would you drive a train in reverse? For the scenes. Right? For the scenes. Oh my goodness. Okay, going 7 here. We'll have to go jump to and from the place. Okay. Everything good? Let's go and lessen that, let's slow down a bit. Take this with me because I'll need it. Slow it down. <laughs> this is like a roller coaster ride. Okay. Six. Can I control the train from here? I guess not because we are slowing down. It doesn't seem... This doesn't look good. We are heating up. Trying to look if the engine is growing hotter. It is. So we have to slow down here. So it's not downhill like I hoped. That is three right there. Okay. No problem. We have no problem with speeding at the moment because we are struggling just to maintain our speed but at least that means we can let go a bit let the engine breathe and observe how the speeds will change well eventually guys this this bit of this stretch of uh, reversing <laughs> will end ah look at that downhill there I read it from left to right. I hope I'm reading that right. I think so. That means this is downhill. And that means it should be okay to just leave it in neutral. Oh, I love all those subtle sounds. All that creaking. I feel like an action star jumping across the cars. <laughs> How's the speed, guys? Oh, come on. It's too much. It's too slow. There you go. There we go. We're starting to pick up speed. Looking at the map. We are headed to some sharp bends, so 
maybe there would be uh, another speed limit change later. Did I just miss it? I think I just missed it. Six, okay. Still six. That's good. <laughs> Changing the speed after the fact. Seven. Alright, 70 here. It's okay guys, we can do this. <clears throat> Is that straight? Yeah, that looks like a straight strip up ahead. Alright. Did I just see six there? I think so. See one more speed limit sign there. Ten. Perfect. Go forward. Speed up. Yeah, because the map would show here. That should be fairly a straight path. So we should be able to pick up some speed from here. Now I can't remember if these are slipping yes I am okay good eight let me slow down I got scared speeds are changing seven indeed what does that say? Seven uphill. Okay, apply a bit more thrust here. Thrust. Alright. Okay, at least we can see the edge of our tail now. It does look amazing though, doesn't it? If even if, if we peek out like that. So cool. Probably not how you drive trains normally. <laughs> but we have to make do with what we have. is 8 and it is uphill oh crap man that's where we should be going yep that's the one missed it by a hair <laughs> dang it yeah I, I, I was just doing this on purpose because I know some people won't Believe me when I say that is not an intersection, that one that's on the map, so I showed you firsthand. Six. We are slowing down. That is not a good sign. Get some sand in. We need power. Even with sand, we are slipping. There you go. Push it. At no risk of derailing here. <laughs> oh, we still need sand. I hope this entire stretch is not just uphill. So what we can do, as I'm thinking, we can reverse all the way through there and then turn back here. And so at least our front would be on the our, this train, this local would be on the front then. Anyone see the speed? Nope. Well, I doubt that goes down to 20 or something. That should be at least 30. Jump. All right. Let's keep a close.
close eye on it. It's the next one, seven. Right. on the engine temperature looks like we've been pushing too hard just apply a bit of power there just so we don't risk stopping totally until we get past this climb that's the hope Where are we? Paying close attention to the temperature and our speed. Finding that right balance between not heating up too much and not slowing down. Four. Okay, that's fine. That's good. So we have to slow down anyway for this turn. Okay. Kill the power. We need to cool it down. Not sure at which point your engine will actually get damaged, but I'm assuming that's when we hit the red mark. The yellow, I hope, is just really a warning. position we put ourselves in that if I can make it out says three right good we keep the speed we keep this power very far away from 30 that's fine yeah this is why I would like to get the steam logo now so that we get a lot of power, we get faster to where we want to go. Although I guess the problem with the wrong turns will get even more drastic. <laughs> because if we're traveling faster, then I'll make mistakes more often. That I think is the overarching problem that we will have after this. go again okay kill it we are coming close to the junction so I have to make sure that we turn right on the junction right this one and then oh crap I will be slowing down that bad no brakes right yeah I think it's just really steep here speed we go faster 50 speed limit and then we want to turn right so that we are facing front again later perfect speed limit here is 60 no problem there we are still moving that's good we're not overheating yet that's good okay all right guys the hard part is over soon, hopefully. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Yeah, bear with it for a bit. I'll let you cool down as much as you want later. that gurgling sound the engine makes Let's see. turn it off okay so we continue through here a bit more power we're slowing down again 
there should be that turn there yes exactly so we wait for that turn we stop right in front of that turn change the signal and turn right from there so we are in front again yeah that's the plan not a good plan but the best plan i can come up with so far <laughs> so <laughs> yikes if it's possible to combine two locos in one train if you'll be able to get the additional benefit of them slow it down slow it down that's the one that's what i'm looking for perfect you know what i'm so happy i'm climbed down in the change that myself also it's amazing because that says it's going to be downhill from here Literally. Good. We're in front again. Now in terms of fuel, we're not in a very good place, but I think we should have enough to get to the goods factory. That is if all of this entire bit here is downhill. Because I remember going the other way through this like loop. And it was all uphill, so hopefully now it's all downhill. It's happening. Crap, really? We're falling? <gasps> no! That's the problem. My bad. My bad, guys. Didn't switch the reverser. Was too excited. Off we go. Foolish speed ahead. Foolish because we don't want to go and <laughs> derail ourselves. Get too excited about things. It's all downhill from here. Hopefully, only literally. If I look at the map, it does look like a fairly straight stretch from there. So, hopefully, we get some speed in. Yeah, let's let the engine breathe a little here. Expecting we can get to 60 just by coasting at this point. But yeah, and th this is just with a shunter, guys. This is with the simplest of them all. With the steam loco, we have so many things to do. I played with that a bit before during the first release. And I forgot how to do it, but I remember you have to like feed it coal, balance the water, uh, the air pressure or the temperature of some sort. 80 speed limit just tapping on the brakes a bit all right letting it go this is the cool part guys i love these downhill slopes because your engine is loving them too and your fuel is loving it too doing nothing but still speeding up wonderful I'm not so sure though, like when this is 9, when is the actual 9 speed limit or safe limit taking effect? Like a few meters from there or from here? Oh, slow down. Slow down, slow it down. Pretty heavy here, so hard to break. Right, release the brakes. We are within safe territory again. I was so scared there. <laughs> so it looks like the 70 doesn't kick in immediately. I hope. Looks like we have to slow down again here. speed up again we were very close to derailing there I think that was super scary <laughs> slow 
down, slow down. Brakes. Thank goodness for keyboard shortcuts. Imagine if I had to look down each and every time. That would have been disastrous. Alright, let it go. Turning it around. proving to be an exciting trip. I didn't intend it to be this exciting. <laughs> it was supposedly a chill drive. But I guess makes for a good video. Well, we'll see how it ends, but so far... Right, looks like we are good again. Let's go and get some speed in here. Looks like the fun with the downhill has ended and we have to work for our speed again. if that's the correct practice but I like like pushing it a bit oh, 7 downhill oh crap when did that 4 come up it came out of nowhere slow it down bro there you go didn't get derailed right because that sound was scary okay there you go some mixed signals there thank goodness our brakes were working should have looked at the map better yeah it looks like at this point we'll have to work for it again way beyond the time limit already. I mean, it's not really a time limit, it's a time bonus, so we don't really get a penalty. We just don't get extra income. Alright, so... Still not far off. We'll be crossing under that uh, bridge there. And then we'll need to turn left. Yes. How's my fuel? Fuel is like one fourth of the way. That should be okay. Still have my load with me, okay. I think. Let's look at the back. Yes, everything is still intact, hopefully. But yeah, I really cannot help but zoom in every time I see a limit because I want as much heads up as possible. breathe for a bit I'm scared here I'm expecting that we are turning yeah exactly oh no this doesn't look good guys all right I think we made it safely across that point junction coming up ahead make sure we turn left there I think it should be that way because that's where I came from no it's not turn left slow down okay not you station map no map awesome that's the right turn so we go straight and the next junction will be in a few minutes from now 
where we will supposedly turn right and then a junction again turn left okay good hmm let's maybe leave that there Still have fuel? Yeah, fuel is good. Oil? Yes. Alright. What is that? 60? 60. 60 and downhill? It doesn't say how steep or how yeah how steep it is, it just says it's downhill to us to a point. I guess that's the next uh, improvement that they could add, like a a degree, a per like should say how many degrees the incline or decline is. Is decline the right term? Sounds wrong. Awfully scary. Stick to 60 here. Alright. That's straightening out bit by bit. Six again. But it's turning level now. Okay, good. That's fine. Slow down here. Next junction coming up again soon. I'm expecting we have to slow down to at least 50 or at most 50 kilometers. So let's start slowing down now. So we have a bit of leeway later. It says 7 here but I don't believe you. There it is, suddenly 50. Yeah, exactly. And then even if it says 50 there, at the actual junction, it would say something like 30 sometimes. So, yeah, can't trust these guys at face value. Okay, but it says 50 here, so that's good. And you're turning right. Turning right, right, right. Okay, good. 70 there, okay, that's fine. Oh, I love that sound as you're passing through those crossings. Yeah, this is how immersive this game could be. Like initially, I would have thought driving a train is just as simple as accelerating and knowing when to stop. But not at all about all these different combinations of balancing the, the power, the uh, engine power, the brakes, and uh, knowing your route, being very attentive to everything that's happening. Turning left here, yeah, exactly. Alright, looks good speed up now we are headed to the goods factory i think it's time to study the station map first the job take it to the goods factory and then take it to delta 5 india d5i station so we look at the station here look at the goods factory the overview will be coming from the southwest so we'll be coming from the top here in the map one sec huh just paying close attention to the map here, make sure you don't... Uh, 80, okay, good. D, uh, southwest, so that means we have to turn left, left, left. So just left all the way, and all the signs that we're getting. Because we're coming from the southwest, so we turn left, 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 and then we get to the station D, station delta. And from there... This is the wrong station. Crap. Scratch that. That's the one. Goods factory. So southwest. Ah, yikes. Okay. So I basically go through here. Just go straight. Turn right. Reverse. Or I can just go straight through all the way and park it there. That's, I guess, easier. So just left, 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 left on the on the stations because if you look here, see so we get some speed in. I 
we look here we turn coming from the southwest we turn left well we keep left on this junction pass through c keep left on this junction keep left again and we are on d and uh, delta 5 india d5 i we're coming from the northeast that should be right right left okay i'll figure it out as we go later but at least we go this way around the goods factory here so at least i'm facing in front and it's easier to see where i'm headed instead of having to reverse my way back something along those lines okay let's get some speed in sand please this is taking too long still slipping it's amazing how they figured that out huh Adding sand increases the traction. Better for climbing, especially. Because trains are very bad at gradients. Slow down here. We said left, 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 right, yes, okay. Left. Slow down. Okay. Bravo. We are in B. Just go straight through here. Past C as well. Just over there. Actually, I'm passing through the passenger area. Which is... Is it even in here? I hope that doesn't end. I hope that joins back in there. Well, we'll figure it out soon enough. I remember watching through the series the developers made, the six-part series, showcasing what the overhaul is capable of, and they added, like, passenger trains are possible now. You can't do jobs with them, but I think you can tour around the map and ride one of the passenger trains. There's an option, like, uh, over here, I think, game, comms radio spawn mode. Oh, and someone was asking about my graphics settings. That's my graphics settings. Sorry, I showed, showed it now. But yeah, not the best maybe, but I'm just fiddling with it bit by bit, seeing what works. And so far, this setting works fine for me. Alright. We just passed the Station C. Yeah, Station C is the passenger station. I think that is indicated by the blue thing there. Yeah, the orange ones are for cargo, the blue ones are for passengers. That's what I've observed so far, but I'm not 100% on that. Slow it down. Slow it down. Getting a bit too excited. Oh crap, this is wrong. Dang it. These blind sides can get you really. Have to reverse, guys. Hmm. Okay. While we are struggling to reverse here, let me already prepare these guys for the correct one. So we should have gone left here. Uh, no, that the the previous one even. There's one here where we should go left. Here we go left again. Here we go left. Wait. Delta 5 India. D5I. This is the one. So here we should be turning left. That's fine. And here we should be turning right. Yes. 
But here we should be turning right as well. And my train is getting away from me. Stop. Running out of fuel. Look at that. Morning. We are way, way out here. Okay, I changed it now. Don't worry. Even if you're low on fuel. I think actually this entire trip, because of my mistake, all my income will just be... just be spent on refueling charge that to experience dang it that's fine we live and we learn all right so we turn left here and then we turn left there good and then we turn right Right, left. I think that's the one. Correct. Yes. So we turn to the right. And then here we turn to the right. And then next we turn to the left. Okay, good. But there is something in there. What the heck is that? around this somehow there's a train there oh but wait a minute is this t5 i where we're at okay okay correct okay apparently that's d6 i already because it's pointing there to the left okay so this is good all right we are on the right track perfect stop the brakes i guess we couldn't stop anywhere here now Let's go and check out our cars here. We pass the threshold. Yes, we have. All right, so we can stop at any point now, supposedly. Hello? Stop. Really hard to break, huh? Heavy. So heavy. Awesome. We did it, guys. All right. Let's apply the independent brake there. Release the train brake. Turn off the cab lights and everything. Shut off the engine and turn off the fuse. Let's go and decouple this one. Turn off the valves there. Let go of the hose. Release the lock. And we are good to go. Alright, let's go and submit this job. Where's the station map? Where's the station anyway? We are in Delta. Bravo is on the left. Okay, so we just go and look for it somewhere here. Um, hmm. It's Charlie. Okay, Bravo, this one. Good. Alright. How much did we earn? Did we make it in time? 37 minutes bonus, 55 minutes elapsed. We earned 14,850, but we didn't get any fees. No damage to whatever, neither environment nor to any property. So we earned 14k. I'll take that, thank you. But if you look at the fees here... <laughs> so the fees for the train is 15k. For fuel, for all the maintenance. But we do have a, an 8,000 copay, so we can, we'll only be limited to paying 8,000 here. Yeah. And I can also service it on my own, which I will do later on. I won't take you guys with me on that anymore because you already know the drill there. We did that in the beginning of the episode. But yeah, if you repair it on your own, you only are spending half of it. So I think that's what I'll do. So all in all, we still earned like five, 6,000. All good and next episode guys we will take the steam train for a spin okay so i'll buy it and we'll see how to maneuver and how to work around it all right 
Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this very long video, but hope you had fun. <laughs> Looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and catch you in the next episode. Clumsy training and bye-bye.